Okay, and here we can see the finished product for the laser tripwire. I'm going to go ahead and reset it so you can see the startup function. Each of the lights will come on just to validate that they're working along with the speaker. Uh, the green light pulses to show you that it is taking a base reading. Um, as we saw in the code, that will take 10 sample readings, which will be averaged, um, and that's why there are 10 flashes. So now <clears throat> we're in a awaiting calibration state. Um, you could modify this to have the green light do something else to give you a visual clue that we are still in the calibration state and waiting for some action. But we'll go ahead and turn on the laser now, <clears throat> and you can see that it is not hitting the LDR at this point, and so nothing has happened. And if we slowly move it over, uh, it was not able to get three readings in a row, and so it did not calibrate itself. If we place the laser on it and leave it there, we heard it calibrate and now you should be able to make out that the green light is on. At this point, interrupting the beam will have no effect on the device. We have to go ahead and arm it with the arming button, which we discussed in the code. The red light, the red arming light is now on and any interruption of the beam will now trigger the uh, routine which sounds the alarm. And there you have it, laser tripwire. Uh, we can now disarm it and we can repeat again. Now that it's disarmed, nothing interrupting the beam will not, uh, will not trigger it. And we can rearm it. It's now using this, it's still using the same uh, threshold to determine if the laser beam has been interrupted. And we can reset and repeat the process uh, with the lights off or say at a longer distance where the laser may not register quite the same reading on the LDR. There you have it. Thanks and appreciate uh, any comments you have or suggestions for improvement.